so we went to take a drink. This kid fell in there. That Conestoga or whatever. Contigo. Contigo. But I'll tell you what, man, that mother keeps it so freaking hot. She can't even sip it this down. Seatbelt messes with my feather. Anyway, man, so we're uh, headed down to actually to go down to get Sissy's birthday party Saturday. So little Miss Sissy's uh, turning six. Yes, till until my head. It's like so bouncing. Sorry, guys. Oh, okay. oh. Gonna <laughs> what the? Yeah, it's, I was just telling her, man, when I put that camera on that. Yeah, it's losing it. Yeah, yeah it's lost its oak, man. So you might be looking at the ceiling quite a bit. Right now, we're going to pick up car, Miss Kawa. Down here, she's going to ride in. Uh, down, down, headed down to, to Weezer, Idaho. Down to the Bi Mart. And the Ridley's going to hop. See So, and I had a. Uh, I mentioned with Miss Kitty. It sounds like I'm yelling, it's because I am. Yeah. <laughs> Trying to get it, make sure that you can hear me over that road noise. But, uh, did something actually go on my, get on my phone? Do we still have service in this yeah. area? Look at the messages there. The comments? Comments. Yeah. Man, I need to get another truck. 
I need all kinds of stuff before I need a freeze dryer. We do right. dehydrate. We have, you know, we have solar dehydrators. We have electric dehydrators. All that. And you can actually freeze dry with a deep freeze freezer. You just take um, like a, a large cooling rack that you put your cookies on, and you get one that's large enough that will, like in my deep freeze, I've got little rails that you can um, put baskets, balance baskets on. So you take your cookie sheet. Um, that fits over those rails so it's got airflow on top and bottom and then lay out the food to um, freeze dry and you're basically dehydrating it in the freezer freeze dried um, and that oh shit it, yeah it takes a while um, but yes you can do that I have never forgot yeah. I've never do that yeah you can it's kidding. you so damn smart I know. Yeah, maybe I should get that to, to make sure I'll come up with something better yeah let's uh, take a break and get that nice set up Better. Way more better. I just got it propped up on a little thing. I don't a know what that thing's called. And then a glove. It's a glove. What? It's a glove. Oh. So he was quite impressed that I knew how to freeze dry without having to. I've never heard of that before in my life. Yeah. Learned something new every day. And the storage on something like that is pretty pretty simple. Just keep it dry. One. Oh yeah, and then the bags will be easily, you know, seal, seal mill seal type mill. of deal. Yeah. We got all kinds of different names for that. Yeah, my day was seal mill. Yeah. We have a couple of those. But anyway, so that, that's my take on the, dude, I'd love to yeah. have, which I'd absolutely love, love, love to have free dry, freeze dried food. Yes. Um, you know, we've had some citrus and stuff like that before too. definitely a good thing but on the flip side of that in, in the hillbilly world you know in our reality one of the things you know so let's talk about uh did the shit's done hit the fan we all know that uh, you know what what people call which i've never knew exactly what normal meant but what any of us ever knew as normal is forever gone as they do, right. have changed, man. I'm so concerned and worried about what we're leaving for my grandkids, my future great-grandkids, and see how, if, if, if it's even still here by then. But, um, so all that aside, we ain't going, that's, we ain't going that way. So as far as I'm concerned, and, percent of America should be concerned and know is the shit is done hit the fan. Now it's just flinging shit everywhere. Part of that would be the, uh, you know, obviously the government trying to scare the shit out of people to, uh, to do what they say, man, get under our own thumb, you know, they old, uh, I, you know, I can't freaking stand him, he's, uh, dying in office, all that, but old Biden, uh, Slow Joe was, you know, did a speech thing yesterday, his, his monotone, is it monotones? Yeah. <laughs> Man, I damn near need to take a nap when I watch his speeches until he does something just off the wall, which was really nothing I seen that, that he did like that yesterday, but anyway, he's quirk. I was waiting. Yeah. I, was waiting. <laughs> I, I knew he was going to come back so, around. Well, dude, it's like going up that mountain up there with all them old dirt roads. I want to take them all. Yeah. Man, and I have so many, you know, I mean, you can turn, you can go down the rabbit hole, you can do whatever you want in these times. So, but our thinking is hillbillies. We were talking about this after I'd read that comment or whatever to Miss Kitty this morning. Is man, I totally love the freeze dryer. Would love to have a freeze dryer. Man, that is great. But uh, as much as I hate to say it, you can call it tin hat or whatever, dude. Uh, power outages and shit are coming. You know, that's just whether that be a solar flare or somebody lobs a bomb at us or whatever. You know. Uh, so what you're saying is a freeze dryer would help you get prepared for that. Absolutely. But once something like that happens, she's, you can't use that no she's more. She's trying to get me off the limb. <laughs> 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 um, yes, 
Yes, exactly. Yes. And that's that goes along, this is what we were talking about, that goes along with our whole lifestyle, you know, man. We live semi-off-grid. I want to be off-grid. Yeah, be completely off-grid. Um, but, dude, I do enjoy, you know, there was power on my property. It's the only thing that was really on my property when I got there is that and two wells and a, and a pump, you know. So the power was there, so, man... It's a luxury. Yeah, it's yeah, nice. yeah it's it. totally. That's yeah. what we were talking about. Pro, even propane is, a to us is a luxury. Yes. Electricity is a luxury. Yes. But we are prepared to live without any of it. No, yeah. You know, country boy can't survive. You know, that's, uh, that's what we plan our whole thing for. So, especially at these times and everything right now, unless I was just freaking, uh, you know, Kid Rock Rich. I can't see spending three thousand dollars on one, and I mean, not only that. Right now, I mean, I don't have a bunch of stuff to freeze dry. Right. So then you're gonna have to get that, and whatever extras. Right. Uh, you were saying the cop, you know, that it takes to cool freeze dry and coolants and all that stuff. So, you know, in my normal uh, average hillbilly life. I would think it's a, it's a poor investment right now. For right. Us. Yeah, right. For me, I mean, if it's good, if you got buttloads of money, and, right. You know, you ain't prepared for nothing. You got a bunch of food stuff. To put up. Yeah, a bunch of stuff to freeze dry. Man, right. I have had it. Dude. Right. And that's there ain't nothing better. Just like Miss Kitty said, there ain't nothing better and nu nutritious or any of that than freeze dry. I love freeze dried yeah. stuff. Freeze dried cherries. Man, I yeah. love. So there's my little take on that. Um, oh, what else did you have? You were saying something. I was like, you ain't say that. Don't worry, I'm feeling. I said what? <laughs> we were talking about it this morning. I said, wait to talk about that until we're on video. Oh. I think it was just the freeze-dried stuff. Was it that too? Yeah. I do have a question, though, but it's about the virus. Is that to me? Well, no, it's, it's basically the to the world and the powers that be. Well, should you want to talk to Slow Joe? Sure, only if he'll answer me. <laughs> what do you got to say? Well, I, I don't know. I just, I think back at the beginning of this whole thing and something that they have never talked about again after it was put out there was herd immunity. Is that not a goal? Anymore? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if anybody has some insight into that. No, they just want to get an damn. opinion. They just want to get the shot. It don't matter if we've had it or not. Right. You know, man. I ain't going to get all of it. All that crap. And then as far as the, uh, what's this new one called? Um, 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 the... Omni unicorn? Somebody's calling it a unicorn. Oh, a, lot they? Of, a lot of people are calling are it a unicorn, yeah. So this new strain. Right, man. Me and this kid, dude, like I've said, man, I know people that have passed away from it, so shit's real. But uh, so is the fear that they're trying to yeah. uh, put Propagate. out here and all that. They Propagate. want to control you. They are using this they are propagating as a tool. Fear. Well, it's just like, are you innocent until you're proven guilty? Are you afraid before there's any proof that this is a worse strain than the last one? And they, everything that I've read in, over the last since, because the first time I heard about it, that's when they said it had AIDS yeah. or uh, HIV. In HIV. It. Um, which I never heard that again. But uh, everything that I've read about it, there's... Uh, yeah, it's concerning and all that. It's sweeping down Africa, South Africa, all that. And now it's moved into other countries. Uh, obviously, it's going to end up, you know, if states are slow Joe or that concerned about it, then he'd do, you know, like Trump did, sh shut down the freaking airports and all that completely. But they don't even know if it's... Um, that bad. Right. Yeah, everything that I've read, I haven't read anything... Right. Um, some of the, something I was reading was saying that uh, that it was uh, like 
research that they were doing was less deadly and uh, all that. It's more prone that you catch it, you know, right. more... Uh, more actively passed yeah. from one to right. another. But, but yeah. not that it's more Yeah, but not that fatal. it was more fatal. Yeah. Right. So, right. I don't know, dude. <clears throat> I've been researching, reading everything thing I can find about it and all that. Yeah. But what I was saying was why, why would a state like New York declare a state of emergency over something that there's no... Exactly. <laughs> exactly. That's all it is. Mm. There's a lot of money. Yeah. Going on. <laughs> the way they're doing the economy and shit, all these billionaires and shit, when the dollar class they ain't going be shit. Yeah. yeah. That's going to change a lot. But they'll already have the power. That's their whole thing. Is it's not even the money. Dude, they've got so much freaking money. Yeah. They want the power. Right. That's what they want. Right. They can't buy the power no. that they want. No. They've got already paid. You know, they've already got past that. So now it's all about the power. Hey, anyway, man. So we're coming into, coming into the little town here and we're going to pick up our daughter. Head down there for that. But I think that. Cricket. You know, I answered the, uh, yeah, answered, I think that was really well. If you have any questions, man, you can put Q&A and we'll answer them on camera, especially when it has, you know, I had the, I think I did that yesterday's video, you know, answering, which I didn't put the link in it. I thought about that when we were going to bed last night. I was like, gosh, dang it, dude, because I was going to put that link in there. But you look back on the past videos, uh, and I did like a list of my top 20, I think, oh. uh, that was what I was going to have you put the link to. Was right. that in there? Okay. So I didn't listen to yesterday's video. Did you think? Do you listen to any of my videos? Tessie and Ken. I did. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you, Tessie yeah. and Ken. That's that was very nice hitting that tip jar. We love you too. Yeah, that was great. Oh. Um, squirrel! <laughs> she does this. See, it's funny because she always plays all this crap off that I have these squirrel moments, but she I causes 90% of them. Yeah. <laughs> So where was I? Um, oh, talking about that, that I was going to put that top link. Yeah, that yeah. list of what, you know. Main thing, dude, number one, man, just like I said in yesterday's video, number one is water. Yeah. Number two is food. Well, you got to have shelter, too. Well, you got to have shelter, all that right. stuff. But frick, yeah, I'm talking about just your prep. Right. Do you want to go get into that, man? We no. can grab this pack back here. And, uh, see, that's one thing, man, you can see. You know, I'm not all, you know, I don't do videos on, uh, oh. Bug out bags. Bug out bags and stuff, but behind me, we got bug out bags. Soon, I got, yeah, my, well, my whole damn van's a bug out. Yeah. But, you know, I always carry, man, we always have a gallon plus of water, always have a firearm, always have food. food. And that just goes being prepared for anything, man. If you break down on the damn side of the road. Which I have with Yeah, man, yes, we have. That's right, she was stuck in, in a mudslide, and I was in Cascade, Idaho yeah. when I was working on a place. So, man, we always, man, just always be prepared. It don't matter if it's some little car breakdown to the asteroid hits the Earth. And then I read something this morning. They're shooting missiles at some asteroid thing. I need to read into more. Mm -hmm. Practice. Okay. So, anyway, so we're going to pick her up. So I'm just going to leave it at that, man. That's about all I got for you today. Man, if you got any questions, put them in the comments. And we'll answer, especially on the, you know, we're all living this, man. You all best become preppers. <laughs> you know, I don't care what you want to call it. Mm -hmm. Self-reliance, man. Be prepared to take care of yourself yes. and your family. Yes. So. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share. It helps keep the lights on the home fires burning and propane tanks, boo. So. Check out the links below and the t-shirts. Which one I got on today? On, uh, see ya. Check out them and good Lord willing. And them creeks don't rise. We'll be back again tomorrow. Damn.